Hello everyone, it's Friedrich uh, with War in the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is April 21, 1942. Uh, I have a couple of things on my radar that I'm doing that I'm probably going <laughs> to... I already, I already feel like I'm going to regret, but we will find out. So here by uh, northeast now of Pago Pago. So I have to be careful because I have stuff directing in to Pago Pago. I have to make sure it's not going to go through that submarine. All right, I, I heard that sounded like a mine. Anyway, I have no idea. Uh, Mark 14. Grr. Sea Dragon's trying again, and another dud. Alright, no night bombing. So it wasn't our ship. Oof. The S... Uh, the I-19 is attacking our uh, transport that, or our cargo ship that was bringing fuel to Denny. That's okay. Wow, 26 shell hits. Um, that's uh, we hit him once. That's not going to do anything. But this is going to sink it. I'm certain. But what I was really going to say is. Um, he might have unloaded his gun on that. Um, be interesting to know how much ammunition he has. I really want to know what the what the mine hit. Whatever it hit, I sounded like a sinking sound too. So we'll find out. So he's capturing some more of these outlying islands. Now Rennell Island. He's pushing his perimeter out a little bit more. Hmm. Okay, already in the air phase. And he knows we're here. That's fine. Okay, some unconfirmed sight sightings out here, and one of them was from our carriers, it looks like. Cancelled air missions, so... Bad weather seemingly everywhere. Ooh. So this is not a good ratio here. Uh, but we are, I believe, diving on him. So I think what happened is our low bombing forced him to maybe fly these low. But now we're diving on him. Um, I don't know that this is going to end well. I'm going to go ahead and push the... <laughs> I think we're going to get shredded. Uh, I'll just move through with this. Yeah. Uh, looks like even trade. And he has zeros here. Now these zeros, I believe, are flying from out here somewhere. I believe they're long range cap. So, um, when we damage him, I think it's going to be harder for him to make it back. We don't want to get shot down either because this is enemy territory. Um, but yeah. So yeah, right there destroyed. So possible lost pilot. So, anyway, maybe he'll parachute down and walk back. I don't know. So, it looks like we shot none of his zeros down. And he's bombing Fort Moresby. No losses to either side. And he's bombing the poor saps here and 
And Celibus. Uh, we actually damage a couple of his planes. But we lose a couple of items. Alright. Sally is bombing now. No losses to either side. Now it could be we're taking some disruption or fatigue, but otherwise nothing really. So this is getting beat up, even in heavy rain. All right, so we're we're bombing the troops that are moving up he here and here. We shifted our targets over in the northern. Okay. Now these guys are going to get tore up. But, uh, um, we can give it a minute and see. Okay. Yeah, um,. Push through here. Supposedly no losses either side. But now we're flying him low and getting under his cap and doing nothing. Uh, we're hitting his. These guys are in clear terrain, but it's severe storms. I, w I decided to roll the dice, but. Ouch two kitty hogs so but his fighters are that much more um, are working that much harder flying over this base and it looks like um, supposedly no losses alright more uh, it looks like artillery is all that's sitting there Oh wow, that's pretty devastating. Uh, yeah, this is just a battalion which is gonna have probably 12 guns. Uh, we may have like knocked out the whole. I mean, yeah, that's pretty incredible. All right, so see if we can fly under the cap. Yeah, let's get some torpedoes into these transports. Okay. Dropping 500 pound bombs on these transports. And we're going to get shredded on the way back. Uh, let's get through this. Oh, we actually only lost one of these swordfish. Actually, it looks like two total. And by the way, we cannot replace these swordfish, so that's going to be a problem. All right, we're bombing the airfield here. I want to keep it damaged. Um, so this is a good result, I, I think. Especially, well, actually it's 10 bombers. Uh, that's not a good result. I don't like having damaged bombers. These liberators are really... Um, fragile all right now we're just bombing his troops because we're about to do a massive attack with anyway you'll see oh why am I so nervous but uh, hopefully our bombers are like putting it to them before we go in okay um, we're taking recon pictures of over Kumak too because I want to see how badly damaged the base is. Alright, PM phase. Now we're looking for ships, bombing subs. Uh, 
um, spotting uh, phantoms in the water. <clears throat> yeah, it looks like nobody nobody's hitting anything. All right, so our Hudsons are hitting here, Hudson threes, and wow, like wrecking this um, artillery battalion. It came over without, <clears throat> pardon me, it came over without any support, so I don't, not sure what happened there, but we'll take it. So this was probably, okay, that might have been the transport. There's a transport here. S-28 does nothing, but I think we uh, may have sunk, we may have uh, sunk a transport there. All right, so he's bombarding us at one child. Okay. And bombarding us at Surabaya. <clears throat> yeah, this is uh, the usual. All right. Our tanks are going in shock. Oh, I'm very nervous about this. And our infantry are just doing deliberate attack. Let's Let's see how this goes. All right, so it ended up one to one, which is better than I thought. We did take a lot of casualties. Maybe I should have just had tanks only. Look at all these, probably the shock attack. I should have just done deliberate. Ah, uh, what a waste. This is bad. Um, we did some damage to him and we destroyed something, but we're just gonna have to um, calm down and just you know, take it easy from now on. Um, we'll we'll get this we we'll, we'll get these battered stuff back in shape. But um, per, per, hopefully he retreats like he's planning to, and then we can get our act together and and reform. Uh, I don't like that. I mean, I, it's on me for doing it, but I still don't like it. I mean the. <clears throat> casualties are in our favor but we lost and more destroyed than I wanted to and we lost we have way more disabled way more disabled than I wanted to that's just terrible on my part we did destroy um, probably this company here all right so probably an atoll that he's just shock attacking to capture some subs are being upgraded um, we still have a lot of subs on patrol and we have a lot that we're refitting so soon we'll soon we'll have probably I want to say within I don't, I don't know I'm not even sure if we have half of them taken offline uh, Good. We got a couple of tank, more tank battalions. All right. Let's let's look at this thing. Okay. So I came here first to look. Um, it's not. I mean, 65%. Our tank battalion got shredded. He, this one, and this tank battalion. So the Marine Corps uh, is doing fine. They're they're saying. Uh, What's wrong? Let's go. Uh, I'll take a look at more of the situation, and certainly, 
I don't mind putting this on replacement because these guys are on the front lines. Uh, I want the best right, right here. I want what we do have here. I want it to be maxed out. And check this out. I mean, uh, we have everything is here. I mean, we lost nothing here. So I don't understand wh uh, what's going on. But <clears throat> I'm okay with doing Bombard. Whoever can, that's fine. Just no more attack. So that means you, buddy. Okay. All right. So for now, we'll let him. We'll let him leave. <clears throat> We've beat him up enough. Um, so he's heading out. Um, the airfield damage is 26, and it's overcast. So we'll we'll keep bombing that, and we'll let him leave. Except for we'll be bombarding <clears throat> until he leaves the hex. Okay. Uh, so let's do this first before I get too carried away. 13 to 5, which is never a good day. But 2 to 6 here, 1 flag, 1 up, saw 6. So ultimately 11 to 15. <clears throat> Those, these are, uh, I'm okay with 11 to 15. 13 to 5, not so much. Uh, but let's take a look at the detail here. So we lost 9, 9 kitty hogs. Uh, but he did lose four zeros and four Oscars. And it looks like we also lost four uh, buffaloes. Uh, two swordfish. He lost a Nella Jake and a Kate to Ops loss. Zeros, he lost two to Ops uh, because of the long range cap. So if it weren't for the long range cap, he'd probably have a lot less losses here. Um, but. And I'm, I'm, I don't even want to look here, but it's going to be bad. So, uh, 10 lost pilots, essentially. Uh, that makes me cringe because, you know, I keep, I keep doing this, ma making these risky moves, and uh, it's costly for my uh, pixel dudes, my pilots and my troops. Oh... Okay, so uh, by the way, let's look at this real quick. I'm, sh you know, you can you can always look at this when I pull it up to look here, but I've never talked about this. So we have an ace here from the 49th Pursuit Group, Eighth uh, Pursuit Squadron. Okay, and this is located on Lafoa, so it's possible that he had a lot of his kills back when. KB was in the area, and we had that 150 plane massacre day. Uh, but he, this guy has eight from the U.S. Army. But but here's what I wanted to sh talk about. So of the guys who have, um, okay, there was something I was looking at. Just man, what did I? Okay. Okay. So if you look if you look here, leading pilots ace level three. So if you do it this way, it narr and I don't know what I did to do this, but it narrows it down to only three or more kills, right? So if you take a look, the US Army has thirty seven kills. Uh thirty seven peep sorry. Um 37 people on this list. 37 pilots on this list. The U.S. Navy, zero. Um, so we've got a lot of catching up to do. with The Marines probably won't get as a lot of kills, but the U.S. Navy certainly has a lot of catching up to do. Uh, Australians have one. Prob it's this Kitty Hawk, and then the Buffalo, and uh, this Buffalo one has three kills. And then the Dutch have one as well. So, uh, unfortunately, this this American pilot was killed in his P-39D. But, uh, where's... 
Okay. So I'm not seeing the Dutch guy. Oh, wait. So here's where it is. Okay, so let's do all. Show me the Dutch guy. Well, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I mean, there's the, Brit there's the British Buffalo. There's the Australian Kitty Hawk. So why can't we see the Dutch? Anyway, so... Um, so there you go. This American volunteer um, has four kills. And that is located at Changsha. So he's actually shot down some Japanese aircraft over China. Okay. Now let's take a look at Ship Sunk. And we see that we did lose this Memphis city right there near Denny, And he has a sub there now. So that's fine. He can park his sub there. Uh, we don't have any plans to reinforce this anymore. And if we do, we can bring in some ASW. We, we're fine. Uh, <clears throat> but having said that, Brain, brain. What am I thinking? Okay, this is what I wanted to do. So uh, let's look down here. A PB patrol boat at Pescadores, 8463. I don't even remember putting a minefield there. 84. Really? Up here? 80. Oh, I get it. He must have run into his own mine. I have, I don't think I've ever put mines here. I don't see a little green symbol here, so I wouldn't know of it existing. So, all right. Um, so anyway, that patrol boat may be in trouble since it's uh, probably a very light ship. So expect that to sink. Uh, this, again, the I-19, that's going to be in fine shape. Um, I really, really think, and, and I think that PB sank, we, I think we heard the sinking. Uh, but here, um, down, down, down. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, this this was a bad one, but <clears throat> we okay. So we didn't hit the. Tr that's right. The transport was where one swordfish tried to hit it. Then we had four attack this, and it um it it ate two bombs, heavy fires. I think we sank that as well. Um, which is a shame we didn't hit the transport because that's the one that I would really want to sink. Oh well. Uh, but swordfish is, um, that's not bad. We still have five sitting here. I think we actually went on that mission with six. So we may have some, a uh, bad intel when it shows us losing, uh, two of those. Let's double check this. Swordfish two. Well, okay. So we did lose two, but I thought we only had six in here to begin with. But now we have five. Uh, good to know. Uh, we flew in low at a thousand because we have decent low naval. So that's what I did there. Um, it still won't let us use tor torpedoes. I was hoping, even though we don't have an air HQ sitting here with torpedoes in it, I was hoping tor having torpedoes down south would um, transfer with rail, but. Yeah, uh, because I had a hunch something like that was happening somewhere else. But, oh, well, these planes are still, I mean, it's been one or two turns that it said two days estimated. So who knows? But we can't get them out of there yet. All right. Uh So, I'm tempted to bring this to here, 
but if we move it here we can base it I'm gonna put it well I'm gonna fly hmm. yeah what I'll do is I'll have this guy march all the way here and in the meantime I'll also fly his assets here that's how I'll, as much as it can be carried I'll fly here and build and get um, an air pre air aviation support presence right there um, and this guy uh, is going to go turn left and go this way I think and this will be good because I want to have plenty of aviation support here uh, sorry um, I may put it here actually, but I, but I was meaning actually, uh, Townsville, but maybe I will park it here because I would like to be able to put more fighters here or something. So these kitty hawks are pretty wrecked. I'll probably, uh, rail them out of here as well. Just like I did the Hudson's earlier out of Townsville. <clears throat> And then we have some more Kitty Hawks. At least can fly Cap here. I don't know if he'll still be flying Cap here or not. But I may swap out the Kitty Hawks and let and maybe just move the Kitty Hawks here to replenish. But I only have four. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to make this a full 16. Uh, anyways, this is this is something I'm going to have to tinker with a little bit. Um, I mean, worst case scenario, I could upgrade to... Well, never mind. Okay. All right. So, okay, back over here. Let's start from the beginning, uh, or what I usually consider the beginning. So my goal is to do a little bit of trans, a little bit of <clears throat> ASW rotation, and then as the as I see the uh, amphibious convoy coming around the corner, like getting into here, um, I'm gonna have them all go back here, replenish, and then join wherever it is um, to to escort it into here. <clears throat> uh, meanwhile. We've got some carriers coming in, and um, they'll they'll be supporting the invasion as well, with some you know some air cover. All right, uh, yeah, you can see a lot of shipping, but it's mostly it's either ASW shipping or just stuff pr probably going back and forth to Pearl or something. So not, nothing of major consequence. But as I scroll down here, <clears throat> I will show you. We've got reinforcements coming to Luganville. The 9th Marine is about to arrive. Probably take full uh, two turns because I think it'll get like in here before. Uh, yeah. So, and we have no escorts here, which is kind of shoddy. Um, I don't, I don't think I like that, but I don't really have any options in the area. Okay. Good to know. Well, I mean, it would be poor, but I could do some ASW with these uh, banshees um, and who knows maybe they'll spot something um, just flying around here okay So, yeah, this was a bust, and he stopped his movement out. That's fine. I guess we could have left, let him go, but 
um, it's okay because we'll we'll rest, replenish, and um, you know we'll be able to attack again. And meanwhile, we'll keep bombarding, right? Yeah, I think our guys are in decent shape even, so. Um, now, the weather is severe storms, so our B-26s, we're going to stand down. Okay. Uh, I don't mind scouting this recon. He'll, this will stand down. Actually, I may... Um, this is only overcast. You know, I'll... Uh, they're fine. I'll do an airfield attack with um, our heavy bombers and... Uh, Don't want to waste. Anyway, I'll I'll uh, I'll do also this one, but I'll look at my other bombers later. Um, we do have A20, B25C. Uh, our B17s look like they're starting to get a little bit worn out. Uh, speaking of worn out, our seven B17Ds that are sitting here. Uh, they've semi-recovered. Um, maybe we'll do another ground attack. Target. Johnston. Everyone. Okay. And also, I t took a turn off. Now that it's light rain, I'll... Um, speaking of bombardments... Oops, why am I bombing my own airfield? That's silly. Okay, let's bomb Cooktown with everyone. And... Let's see, what's that going to be? All B-17s. So, if I... I'm, I just I'm curious now. Okay. Five, six, seven. Okay. I, I'm not going to use my Ds. Five, 12, 20, 28 bombers. So I'm not going to sweep this time. My bombers are just going to have to get through without help. Okay. The moonlight is 42%. I'm going to give him one more day. And then, and maybe more, but but these are training, these Blenheim 1Fs, um, still not up there with uh, night fighting, but um, we'll, I'll probably, as soon as it's 50 plus percent moonlight, I'll probably just start escorting at night, um, or capping at night. I don't, I don't know for sure, but, but for this turn we will for sure um, just patrol. Now, this artillery piece has been wrecked pretty hard. Now, he's coming up the road. He's probably going to try to link up in here. That's fine. We still have this road, right? So, and, and we're right across from a base here as well. So, I think we're okay. I think we're going to, our supply situation is, is, totally fine but we might wreck this if we bomb it again and i think i'm going to i'll just keep everybody on and this is clear and <clears throat> uh maybe i'll swap i'll say set and then i'll sweep Because he may want to fly cap over the long range cap over this now that we've destroyed, like, wrecked his artillery. 
Um, so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, I think 15,000 is fine. Maybe I'll bump it up a little bit. Dive down on them. All right. So that's fine. I, I, I doubt he'll cap it, but, and then if we may just wipe that out, we'll see. All right. So, uh, ha. He appeared in this hex, but, um, and I don't think we're going to make it. Oh boy. He caught us. Where, how did he just appear? Right. Did he, pa I mean, are these pair dropped in man? Now I'm paranoid. I didn't see him before. He must have pair dropped him in. There's no way he can attack us. No, if he'd have para-dropped him, we would have had a shock fight. But here's the thing. I'm really confused because that looks a lot like how these guys just appeared in this hex a few days ago. This is just so weird to me. Am I, like, maybe it's just really poor scouting on my part or something that these guys appear out of thin air. <clears throat> Okay, uh, here's the thing. I think if he attacks and we retreat, we won't retreat this way because of this red line here. We'll probably retreat this way. Anyway, I, I'm going to have to flip to defend because... If he attacks, because it, I can't move far enough to get here until he attacks us anyway. Because uh, it looks like we're moving roughly 15 miles a day. Uh, a day, And that'll put us, like, almost in there. But I'll tell you what, if, I, if he attacks and I hold, which I highly doubt. But if he attacks and I hold, then we will flip it to move. And we'll arrive here um, <clears throat> for sure the next turn. Okay. Uh, but yeah, this is very clever, good sir. Worthy opponent. All right. So just getting a lay of the land. If I... If I could slip a guy over here, oh, that would. It is across a river, and if he has someone here that I don't know is here, we'll do a shock attack across, <clears throat> which I'm not in a hurry to do. Okay, how close are we, guys? All right, long ways away still. Okay, so he's still crossing here and here. We'll see how that plays out. <clears throat> and we'll still bomb him. And I have, okay, now that I know this guy exists, all right, A29s. Nobody bombed. Nobody bombed at all. I had uh, my bombers hit this clear hex, but nobody bombed, so. Or not, not that, maybe. Or was it this? This is wooded. Well, why don't I look, right? Um, 8448. Yeah, I guess it was this. Uh, so, yeah. Now, there's fighters here. That means he has to fly long range cap. He probably doesn't want to do that and wear out his fighters. Anyway, I mean, I mean kind of wrapped up China already, even. And, you know, some of these poor, poor guys out here um, were holding here, but he just arrived, so he'll probably destroy us now, finally. Uh, oh, so the unit that was here is just gone. So, 
Um, we tried to bomb his, his, uh, we tried to, wait, okay, yeah, we didn't get any more damage in there, that's, that's, we're done here, for now, I'm going to stand down, and I'll think about what I'm going to do with these guys next, later, say, well, these guys, I'm not going to so much stand down, these guys, I'm going to set target, uh and bomb these tanks and hopefully more of our aircraft will fly this time so okay all right uh so yeah i you know to recap um we're we're still holding the strong at port well we're holding at port moresby strong or not and uh, we got subs patrolling around here. It just doesn't seem to be doing much use. We're not getting torpedoes into anything. The S-28 is just sitting here on its thumbs. And the only thing we feel like we're doing is sending in torpedo bombers to get shot up pretty badly. So uh, not a big fan of that action either. But uh, let me, uh, yeah, uh, also I just realized something. These were flying extended range anyway, so they couldn't carry torpedoes regardless of what, um, whether whether you could do this or not. They, you know, uh, but anyway. <clears throat> so, I mean... I guess we could use albacores. I just, I'll have to consider what the implications are if we do. Um, one thing I want to look at is, oh, they also carry 500 pound bombs. So this would be very similar, I reckon. I'll just consider my options and, and make a decision. Now, these were, are removed by June 1, which is a um, little over a month away. But, I mean, if we could use, if we could um, make him a little bit timid about our operations. Now, here's the thing. He may send even more fighters thinking, ooh, is he going to do this bombing raid again? <clears throat> but, um, but, again, that's potential for wearing out his pilots and his aircraft, so... Uh, obviously, there's also potential for shooting us down, so uh, which we don't like. All right, so <clears throat> he spotted us up here. <clears throat> Pardon me. Now, his detection is low, and there's no ships to target. So we are going to move on down the coast further, and we're going to just go here. And hopefully, by the time we get here, <clears throat> there will be ships right there. Now, because it says detection one of one, I hope that means that he has really... This may be the heavy radio activity and the notification you get. So <clears throat> he may not have a clue what's here. But the fact that he sees these battleships and he sees ra heavy radioactivity, he probably knows or can assume what, what's what. But, you know, if he wants to evacuate Palembang of, of ships, that's his prerogative. So uh, maybe he will. Um, and then if he does, we'll see, we'll maybe experiment with bombing the port too. I, I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's looking fine. Things are seem to be okay right this minute. Um, <clears throat> uh, I mean, okay, maybe optimistic, but still, uh, I'm not. I'm not in despair mode. I've had worse turns, so. Um, yeah, I <clears throat> I have to be careful because he had a sub right here. Um, I just have to be careful. 
what I've been doing is when I put somebody at Pago Pago, I've been having it come here and then go in. So I just have to be really careful that he's not doing this cir circuit and and then we're going to get caught <clears throat> out of position and lose some ships. I don't, don't really want to do that if I can help it. <clears throat> all right. So, and then he didn't get all the fuel that I wanted. It's, uh, it's okay for now, but. All right. I guess that's, he still doesn't know what we have. His recon here is zero, so. All right, Johnston Island, here we come. Got a few more turns, but we're we're coming. Let's take a quick look. We were at 48 before. So we're moving at basically six hexes per day. So it looks like uh, one week and we'll be here. So I would say mm, in about three to four days, I need to get these ASWs back here, get them refueled and out to uh, join here. And that said, uh, let's do our second bombardment. And uh, we have destroyers all up in here going back and forth um and speaking of he's in a tricky spot so i'm gonna say okay just to confirm that we're not gonna run into you we're gonna go straight here okay All right, one more thing I really wanted to look at. And this may, well, all right, two, two things. So first, let's look at location of subs. So they're all in, if, if they're not being repaired, they're um, in task forces, okay? So how do we know how many of these are in task forces uh, there's no number here is there but you know I mean you could see the list now let's look at under repair so the list is a lot shorter it's still a lot of boats and I don't I don't like this many being out of commission but it's not like we have all of them I mean I purposely only sent some of them back and then these guys not all of them are patrolling like this is heading back to base this is as well uh and so forth but for the most part and this is heading back but for the most part we've got guys that are um still patrolling so and they will for a little while longer before we're ready to um i mean before they come out now uh let's see ships under repair I wanted to come back here because look at this. So if we look at days, in two days, it looks like the Sculpin we're going to have to like yank out, yank out of um, pier side. But anyway, these two will be upgraded in one day. Uh, then the two days from, and then, yeah. So tomorrow these two, the next day these two, and so on. Uh, and then, like, in a week, we're going to get several out of uh, upgrade. So, anyway, um, any little bit that can come out and help us is going to be great. So, we'll make sure that we're um, doing what we can to expedite these situations. And, again, only in conditions where, well, you got to go back to replenish anyway – why don't you go ahead and refit while you're there? So that's that's my thinking. I just don't want to send them all back all at once. So, all right, uh, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna wrap up here. Uh, done a lot of talking, rambling more like, and I just want to go ahead and uh, um, wrap this up. And uh, when I get it ready and send it off, and then get it back, we will talk and look at. Um, April 22 turn resolution where hopefully 
hopefully it's a calm day because my plans right now, what I'm thinking is I have a couple ideas for bombing and that's it. Uh, I plan to stay defensive or depending on the situation, retreat even. But otherwise, I don't have any, for April 22 anyways, I don't have any ideas of uh, land attacks or, or offensive. So hopefully it's going to be quiet all around and then we get through it and then um, go from there. But thanks for joining me. Hope you have a good rest of your day. Take care. Bye.